my happiest patients unequivocally are the ones who have disc replacements. I see them at one week, I see them at six weeks. They can't believe that they can move their neck around. They can't believe how little pain they have. They can't believe how mobile they are. If it's appropriate, it's a great procedure that works very well. An artificial disc is useful if it's an injury to the disc in the front of the spine. That's why the approach is through the front. In the disc replacement, motion is what you want. No one gets a hip replacement and then never walks. So in the same thing in the neck, the, the discs want to move, so we get them moving. And as a result, people feel better and are happier and are getting back to what they want to do more quickly. An artificial disc, uh, we put in in the morning and the patient's up walking up and down the hallway two or three hours later. That's the most impressive thing to me, is how quickly they're able to get mobile. We usually keep them overnight. Isolated incidents, we send them home the same night, but we keep them overnight one night. When they go home, by the time they're home, they're up walking around, moving around. No collar on their neck at all. They can move it right away. We restrict their activities during the first four to six weeks to not have them be too active. They're really not disabled more than four or five days from being disabled usually return to a relatively functional full status of doing things by four to six weeks. Active, exercising, skiing, working out by three months. So in, in direct comparison studies to other types of procedures, it's good procedure when applied correctly because people way over the 90 percentile get back to doing what they want to do and functionally much better.